Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 10th of January. I'm James Spann. Rain to start the weekend, but uh, the weekend not all wet. Let's go in there and take a look at things this morning. This is the satellite view. You can see that big trough developing off to the west. That's a pretty sharp trough. There'll be a good dynamic system coming in here. And if this were uh, April or March, we might be worried about severe weather, but we are not in this case. Hey, no scraping the frost off the windshield this morning. Most everybody in the 40s, way above freezing. Birmingham at 45, good cloud cover in place. We'll expect a high in the upper 50s in most locations today. And around the nation, the big thaw continues. Even up north, they're well above zero. Refreshingly mild for those folks after the last, really, month or so. Uh, on the watch warning map, uh, some fog issues over the plains. A few winter weather problems out in the western mountains. Some snow around Milwaukee. And flood watches, uh, including Chicago, and also much of the northeast United States. That'll be a change from the snow they've had recently. And down this way, uh, thunderstorms are possible. In fact, uh, the uh, guys at SPC have thrown up a 5% chance of severe storms for uh, Louisiana and some of the adjacent states, including southwest Alabama, and that would be uh, tonight. Don't expect any problems here with severe weather, though. Certainly there could be some thunder. And then tomorrow, there is a risk of severe weather, the standard slight risk on the South Atlantic coast, really all the way from uh, the mouth of Chesapeake Bay uh, down to places like Tallahassee and Jacksonville. And uh, we'll keep an eye on things there. But that would be tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, well after the storms are out of here. Storms come through here in the middle of the night, early in the morning, stable air, no severe weather. But boy, some good rain amounts. Uh, this is showing rain totals of really two inches for a pretty good chunk of Alabama with some three-inch amounts possible down around uh, Mobile and Atmore and Evergreen, places like that. All right, model fans, this is the GFS, the global forecast system, the 06E run, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. There's the trough to the west. And down below that, during the day today, it'll be cloudy, and I guess there could be a a little sprinkle, a spritz or two somewhere, but the, the, the bulk of the day should be dry. Uh, the main rain is well off to the west. Let's go to the high-res NAM. This is tonight at midnight, and all of a sudden it's a little slower. We've not had good consistency. Some, some runs of this model have brought in the big rains as early as 9 o'clock tonight. Now, this has got the big rains coming in after midnight, which is consistent with some of the global models. Now, this is 5 a.m. tomorrow. It should be just pouring rain. And again, there could be some thunder here. Uh, no concerns with severe weather, just a good overnight soaker. Most of you will sleep right through this. And then by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, the rain is on the way out. Heavier rains from uh, near uh, Roanoke down to uh, Auburn and Troy. Rain is over for northwest Alabama. This is back to the GFS at noon. And the same idea, the rain pushing out of the state at midday. And uh, pretty good little breeze developing behind that rain. Uh, the models are suggesting we could be in the 60s tomorrow morning, and then you can see the thickness values coming down. So it could be a situation where the winds pick up out of the north and we fall uh, through the 50s tomorrow afternoon. So kind of a cool breeze, but the sky should begin to clear. And this is Sunday. It's going to be a gorgeous day, a cloudless sky. Uh, cold morning, we start the day in the 30s. I say cold, I mean... Compared to what we've just been through, it's not that bad. Lows in the 30s. And the high Sunday, I would say between 57 and 60. It'll be a really nice midwinter day. Monday of next week, here comes a cold front. And there's not a lot of moisture to work with, obviously, but that might squeeze out a few scattered showers Monday afternoon or Monday evening. And this is Tuesday. You can see troughing developing over the east. We've still got uh, stronger winds coming down the... Uh, Back side of the trough, it's kind of digging, and this is the surface chart on Tuesday. 
Uh, the day should be uh, cool and dry. Uh, partly sunny highs would be in the 50s. And then Wednesday, the trough sharpens up considerably. And that pulls down even colder air, the 540 line going all the way down toward Jacksonville. So uh, Wednesday, that looks like a day with highs dropping in the 40s. And I'd imagine by Thursday morning, we'll do 20s. This is Thursday. But the weather will be dry, the high Thursday back in the 50s. And this is uh, Friday. The eastern trough is still there. This is a week from today. And another shot of cold air comes down the pike. Highs go back in the 40s. So uh, after we see... In a little warmer weather next few days, temperatures will go back to a below average for a pretty good chunk of uh, next week. But again, we stress nothing like the air we've just experienced. That's about uh, what you see every 20 years or so here. Let's go out there later in the month, January 23rd. Sign of a little rain event there. And the end of the forecast on the 25th, that would be rather uneventful with seasonal temperatures. And again, uh, the Arctic Oscillation is wanting to go positive over the last 10 days of the month, and that typically tends to keep the uh, really bitterly cold air up there in the source region, not allowing it to come down this way. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.